Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's about 11.30 a.m. and it's cold in Texas. I mean, it's slippery here too. Really slippery. I stepped out and almost did the headstand. But anyway, I'm gonna take a short walk here. It's about 19 degrees and you can see the snow starting, I mean, excuse me, the ice is starting to melt where the sun's shining on it. Oh, thank goodness for that sunshine. Hello, Mr. Sun, thank you so much. Uh, is it cool here? Yeah, damn cold. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yeah, this is at uh, Goose Island State Park in Texas. That's Copano Bay. Good morning. Good morning. Nice and cool. Yeah, too bad. <laughs> Slippery as hell, too. Anyway, the wind's blowing. That's what causes it to feel so cold, man. But you can see how, uh, actually, the ice is melting where the sun's shining and the temperature uh, Shows to be about 20 degrees, but the wind is blowing. Ooh, that's what does it. If the wind wasn't blowing so damn hard, it would be, well, it'd still be cold, but it wouldn't be as bad. But you can see how all these campers are jammed in here. Had one come in last night, or this, well, you can't see it now. Some of the ice has fallen off of it. They came in, and there was ice hanging all off of that one. But anyway, yeah, this is like Copano Bay out here. Go, uh, opens into the Gulf of Mexico, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's, we've had this is the coldest weather I can remember in Texas in my entire life. And I'm 75 years old and born and raised in Texas. That is a fact. Because I'm in Rockport, and it never gets this crap here. Or, well, very rarely. That guy's got him a teardrop over there. I hear his furnace. <laughs> Fortunately, I've got electric heaters, so I can save my propane. I'm going kind of slow because it is, uh, well, it's not too slippery here where I'm walking. You know, this is actually uh, melted here on the roadway. Yeah, I'm just going to walk down here to this dumpster and uh, pan around a little bit and let you see the RVers in the what's RVing like in the cold. This guy left his hose out, but you know it's frozen, this water hose. Yeah, it's frozen solid. It'll thaw out in a couple of days. Turn around, see if there's anybody coming behind me. But there's your good look at this. This is the, the what they call the bayfront, I guess. Uh, campsites, water and electric. All the sites here at this state park Goose Island State Park for water and electric, but they have some that are back up in the brush. Uh, probably would have been just as well to have gotten the one in the brush because you wouldn't, I wouldn't have had to put up as much wind. The wind I'd have had me a nice wind break. But yes, it is cold and I'm being careful walking because I don't want to do a headstand. And I'm headed for that thing. My objective is right there called a dumpster. All right, here's my job for the day. I took care of that. Uh, am I going to continue on and make me a short walk here? Yeah, let's do that. Here, let's see. You can see the roadway. I just have to be very careful. And uh, But yeah, it's, it's just, you know, you, you could do a headstand any time. But if I just put plant my feet flat, I'll be all right. But anyway, I say that a lot. Anyway, anyway, anyway. You know, I remember one lady got after me for saying that so much. But it's uh, there's actually traffic going over the causeway that goes over Copano Bay. There's a big bridge. You might be able to see it over in here. See that bridge there? Uh, I'm surprised, but I did see some traffic going over that bridge. A little cool, a little cool. Yeah, I'm not going to go across that. No, we're just going to turn around. How you doing? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, you come to Texas to get the warm weather, right? <laughs> He got on a mask. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that's what you do in cold weather. He looked like he was from Minnesota or somewhere. 
But the sun is shining, guys. That's what is so nice. This thing right here is the sun is shining. Temperatures come up, oh, I don't know, three or four degrees. And when the sun came out, it kind of popped up a little bit. I'm surprised there's actually people moving around. There were people driving through here earlier this morning. And, uh, but old dad ain't going to be out here. This day here, we're going to just call this X day. I'm going to be out. This is it for me. But isn't that pretty out there, the bay? The bayfront uh, sites are 20. Uh, those are even, I think those are $2 more than mine. Mine are $22 a night. It's $22 a night, but I'm only going to be here five nights. Yeah, miss all the weather in Lano. The temperature in Lano is, I don't know, 6, 7, 10 degrees, whatever it is. Snow and ice everywhere, roads closed. And uh, at least I can get out and walk here. Uh, not long, but I can get out. And the sunshine. Of course, the sun's shining all over Texas right now, I imagine. And all of these people here are snowbirds that came down to Texas to get out of the cold weather where they were and got caught in this polar vortex. So, yeah, we're going to walk on down here a little ways because the road looks okay. This guy's leaving, man. What a time to leave. Shit. Maybe he just had paid for a couple of nights and couldn't because they're full. There's me right over there. I, my window view is can see the bay pretty good. Yeah, he's going to hook it up, all right. He is pulling out. I could guide him, I guess. Need some help? No, uh, no, just about got it, buddy. You gonna pull out, huh? Well, I gotta move over to the other section. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah. yeah, good luck. This is the couple that came in here this morning. I don't know where they came from, but they sure brought a lot of ice with them. <laughs> That bicycle rack is carrying about a hundred pounds of water. So anyway, guys, it's a frozen day in Texas, which we just don't get. Oh, I'm just getting out stretching my legs. <laughs> you guys got little coats on his dogs. <laughs> Keeping your dogs warm. Sir, a ma'am. What'd you say? Yeah, we don't normally get this. I mean, I'm, I'm born and raised in Texas, and this is very unusual. I don't ever remember anything this cold. I, you know, my, mine's not uh, weatherproof, so I had to go dump everything. Oh, really? Yeah, empty out of Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll freeze solid. They sure will. Yeah, well, there's nothing in them, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah I, I got heaters on mine, thank oh. goodness. Yeah, they help a little bit. I'm yeah. Where, where are you from? Key West. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God dang. You Neither took... do they. I they know. They are going to get dressed and they want to stay outside. <laughs> you came from the warm country over here, huh? Yeah, I thought South Texas was warm. Well, sometimes it is. <laughs> it, it's not now, obviously. <laughs> well, enjoy your day. Yes, Keep your health. Yeah, me too. I'm getting like cabin fever, you know. Oh, yeah. If the wind wasn't blowing, it would be all right. Yeah, yeah. that wind last night was. Oh man. Like a yeah. I mean, yeah, I could feel it too. That's why I parked over there because I knew it was a north wind. So yeah. I parked on the south side of that little. Yeah, the truck. building. Well, this is it. Uh, once we get through today, tomorrow won't be bad, and the next day is wonderful. I'm where are you headed? I think uh, Falcon State Park. Oh yeah, I, I was there here a few weeks ago. Okay, that's where yeah. I'm headed after this. Yeah. To stay warm and then up along the river all the way eventually to Baja in California. But yeah, well enjoy your travels. Yeah, no, Falcon uh, Lake is, uh, it's all right. You'll like it. Right, as long as it's warmer than here, I'll be all right. It is warmer than here. All right. Yep. <laughs> all the time it's warmer than here. 
Well, now that I've gotten out here and gotten frostbit, I guess I can continue this video a few more minutes. Boy, the wind's cutting across here. So here's some, this is just wide open right here. The wind just blowing right on me. I think I'm gonna make a U-turn, let her have the walk, walking path. But anyway, guys, from Goose Island State Park on a very, very cold day, this is Rusty78609 saying, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? I don't know. It, just, it doesn't cost you anything. If you want to fool with it, fine. If you don't want to fool with it, don't worry about it. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't watch the news. If you want to get the negativity from all over the world, read it. Don't let the talking heads tell you what it is. And what else? You know, just do the little things to keep your health. I fixed me some good old soup today, chicken noodle soup. Fixing. That was my lunch, and I, and I fixed me another, my second, for the first time in years, I'm having a second cup of hot tea. Why? Because it's damn cold. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's Copenhagen Bay. Adios. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your day. Stay warm. Bye-bye.